the channel, it's your boy Dog Packs 2008. Today's video is going to be about creating vehicle liveries. I just put out a video, a video not too long ago about how to create liveries, and it was kind of short. It didn't really go too into depth. It was kind of off topic here and there. It's it was all over the place. Let's just say that. Um, Today I'm going to take you through step by step, show you how to make custom vehicle liveries for your 5M or 5PD server, all free of charge. Um, I'm going to be using Open4 and Paint.net in this video. Um, Paint.net you can get it absolutely free. I've got it linked at the top of the description. You need to go get that if you haven't done so already. It's going to be a crucial part of this video. Um, if you use Photoshop, you can also do it through Photoshop. I prefer paint.net. It's a lot easier to use. And I mean, if you're new to vehicle liveries, you, it's probably why you're watching this video. Paint.net's gonna be a lot easier for you to use too. Uh, the vehicle that we're gonna be creating today is the vehicle in the thumbnail. So the vehicle in the thumbnail is Harris County Sheriff's Department. But we're not going to make it Harris County. It's going to be Blaine County. <clears throat> and it's going to be a little bit different. You'll see where I'm going. I'm going to pop up a picture of the vehicle on screen. So this is the 2018 Charger. Now this is, uh, I believe this one's a Scat Pack Charger. It's not the Hellcat. Uh, oh, it is the Hellcat. I'm sorry. It is a Hellcat. Um, we're not going to be using the Hellcat. We're just going to be using a regular 2018 Charger. And it's going to say Blaine County and not Harris County. But this is basically somewhat what the vehicle is going to look like when we're finished. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so to get started, I'm going to take that image and I'm going to drag it into paint.net. Hopefully, your vehicle that you're wanting to put this texture on has got a template. If not, you're going to have to find a template. And the way you can do it, if you're using a charger, go to Google, type in chgr underscore sign underscore one. It'll pop up a whole bunch of templates in the images tab. You can find the image there. Um, it might work. It might not. You might have to go through a couple different templates because each one's different. Uh, we're going to be using, I believe this is a Ripple template. It might be a Redneck. Uh, but this is the one we're going to be using. Uh, first things first, when I open it, it's going to be 4096 by 4096. Don't worry about that. It's going to get changed later. Uh, first thing, very first thing I want to do is I want to add me, uh, actually I want to go up here. And I want to do image resize. And I want to go over here. I always do this to all mine. The resolution, I change it to 100 pixels per centimeter. You can have this pixels per inch or centimeter. I do it by centimeter. Just makes the resolution come out a little bit better. After I do that, 4096 by 4096 at 100 pixels per centimeter. Just hit OK. It's, you're not going to see any change on the screen. It's just going to change the resolution of the picture when it's done. After that, you want to come over here to add new. Your layer, your first layer is going to be your background, which is your template. Layer two is going to be your base paint color. In this case, we're going to be white. So I'm going to come over here. I've already got black and white on my little color pad. I'm going to swap it over to where white is my primary. I'm going to click on my little paint bucket, or you can hit the F key as a shortcut. And I'm just going to paint it white. <clears throat> Now you notice the whole screen is going to turn white and you're not going to be able to see your your template. Don't worry. It's not a big deal. Come over here to the little properties. You've got your layers box. Hit this little wrench and it, that's your properties tab. Come over here. I like to bring this down to 144. That way I can still see what I'm doing but my base paint color is still there. Alright, the next color is going to be silver. This car has got a lot of silver. A lot, a lot of silver. I might make some of it darker, just so it has a little bit of depth to it. I don't want the whole car to be the same color. It'd be kind of annoying. Um, so I'm going to take my silver, 
That is not what I wanted to do. Before you take your silver, add you a new layer. This is going to be your first layer of paint. It's not your base paint. It's your first layer of paint for like where stickers would be. So like Sheriff, your graphics, uh, your emergency 911 badges, your, your badge or your logo, whichever one is on the side. So this little thing right here. Um, stuff like that. In this video, it's going to have multiple different layers on your car. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down. I'm going to go down to 144 again. And now I'm going to zoom in. The way you zoom in is you hit your left control button and you use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Alright, I'm going to do the driver's side of the car first. So it's got this sweeping graphic that comes up right almost at the top of the the wheel well and then it comes up and it runs along the top of the car and I'm gonna mimic that going back so I am gonna take my line tool <coughs> excuse me take my line tool with my silver color on my color palette over here and I'm gonna go about right there and I'm gonna come out how far did that go I went pretty good ways back. So, I'll go right about there. And then this one is going to go right about there. That looks good to me. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to run this one up. Now, I want to get, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm going to make these lines touch as best as possible. So, it makes like a V. Um, I'm going to run this almost all the way up. Where do I want this? Yeah, that's about good right there. This right here. So this line is going to be one of the main body lines on your vehicle. I'm going to run that line almost all the way up to that body line right there. And this one, I'm going to, I'm going to stray away from this graphic a little bit because it's, it's kind of got like a weird looking V or something going on here. Not like that. It's not symmetrical. So I'm going to run this one. To where they run parallel. I'm going to run that one to about there. Now this line. Let me zoom in here. So I can see what I'm doing. I'll run this line straight back and I want to stop it right come on I'm gonna stop my line right behind the gas tank so where I want to stop that <clears throat> and I want to take this one see perfectionist man can't handle it all right I'm gonna take that one Run it parallel as well. And I actually want to take this one a little bit further. Alright. And this it just kind of ends off right there. Uh, I kind of want to make it come to a point. No, I don't either. No, I don't. As a matter of fact, I'm going to run this one out to the end with that one. Come on, work with me. Does that look right? That looks right. Alright, after that, I'll come back. Now, there's an imaginary line right here. Okay. And I am going to run another line from here. Actually, I'm going to do it just like this. I'm going to run a line just like that. That way I know where my base is. I'm going to run a line here. That's going to be too far down. Run a line right there. Just like that. 
and then I'm going to close it off. Now you want to make sure all your lines connect in the end. So like if this was open, just like that, and I went to paint it at the end, it'd paint the whole car. It, it would not be good. So I'm going to do it like that. And then this one, I'm going to do the same thing too. I'm going to run it back. Stop it right there. And I'm going to come down. Come on. I'm going to come down and I'm going to block them off. Now, always make sure that you block this off as well. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be along this line right here. You can run it all the way out here. You can run it all the way up to here. It's not going to matter because this is blacked out in the template. You're never going to see it. So once I've done that, I'm going to paint it. Paint this. Just like that. Now this part, pay attention close right here. I'm going to I go up here, select my little rectangle select key. Shortcut is S if you want to use the shortcut instead. I'm going to select that whole thing that I just made. I'm going to control C, copy it. I'm going to add me a new page. And this, don't mess with the size, don't mess with the resolution, nothing like that. Just leave it all the same. Press OK. Now control V, you paste it in here. Once you paste it, you go up here to image and you do flip horizontal. That's going to flip it to where you don't have to remake that whole thing and try to get it just right for the other side. Now you can copy this, go back in here and paste it. And there it is. We got it on this side now. Now all you have to do is position it in about the same area. It's pretty close. All right. So now I've got my graphic on the side of the car. That's all I wanted. Now I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to find a Blaine County badge. <clears throat> mm. wonder if I can get one in black and white. Okay. See, I like this one, but I'm going to have to do some editing to it. So I'm going to take that one. Save in my jazz. I'm going to save it to my desktop and just hit save. And I can close this. Drag this into my paint.net. Open the image. Now I'm going to hit my little magic wand over here. Select the whole outside of this image and delete it. I'm going to come over here and copy. This is where I'm going to add a new layer. And just like before, I'm going to put it down to 144. Press enter. Now, before I put the badge in, I want to do my lettering because I want my badge on top of my lettering just like it is in this on this car. <clears throat> so the way I'm going to do my lettering is I'm actually going to come back over here and it's going to be text. I'm going to make my text darker than the graphic itself. So I'm going, well, I got to make it larger, of course. Now I got to find the right font that I want to use.
All right, so I think the font I'm going to go with is actually, I just seen it. I don't know where it went though. Oh, there it is. So future of bold is the one I'm going to go with. Now I've got this. I'm going to move it around and play with it a little bit. I'm going to stretch it out just like that. I'm going to angle it to where it matches this line right here. If you want, you can zoom in and see the top of your lettering to where it'll match that line. I want everything I can to be symmetrical. I'm just going to move it down here. And I'm going I'm to go ahead and control C and control V. That way I can put it on both sides of the car. I'll twist this one to where it'll match that line right there. Bam. Zoom back out. And I'm actually going to move this one back a little bit. About like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a white color and what is that about a 10 I want to create that no oh, it's a lot bigger than a 10 what about a 40 that's probably too big yeah let's go with a 25 looks like 30 is going to be the ticket so I'm just creating that line. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that. I'm not going to put that part in. So I'm going to copy the badge. I'm going to add me another layer. So that way it sits on top of the sheriff. And I'm just going to paste it in. Now I'm going to change the size of this. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take this Kennebec County off of it. So I'm going to paint and I'm going to paint it black. Just like that. We're going to leave it just like, th well, I'm going to take my color picker. I'm going to pick that color and I'm going to paint Probably a 10. Yeah. I'm going to paint out where it says Maine. I don't want to say Maine. We're not playing in Maine. We're playing in Los Santos. And I'm going to take out the state of. It can't be state of nothing. I just look retarded. Alright. Now I can copy. <coughs> Paste it back to my car. Change the size of it. Still too big. Ooh. All right. If you go too small uh, off of the original image, it'll make it blurry. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the original image size. I'm going to resize it. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 100. And how it says 860 by 849, make sure, make sure your maintain aspect ratio is checked. If your maintain as aspect ratio is not checked, it's going to distort the image completely and you don't want that. So it's 860 by 849 right now. I'm going to change it. I'm going to bring it down to about 200 by 197. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. It'll probably be blurry in here, um, but once you get in game, it'll look a lot better. See, as you zoom in, it, it looks a lot better. So that's about the right, well, it's a little bit smaller than I want. So I'm going to do image resize again, and I'm going to go up to, let's say, 300 by 296. Copy. Paste that sucker in there. Yeah, it's about right. 
and then I'm going to copy it again, paste it again, and I'm going to set it right about there. Now I'm going to do the Blaine County part. That's going to be in a completely different font. I'm going to add me a layer. I'm going to go to text. Make sure my color is the same as this color here. And I'm going to oops. make sure if you add something in here, make sure you uh, do this little rectangle select and select out of that rectangle. So if you have this and you go to add text, it will not add the text unless you were inside of that box. Okay. You don't want that. It, it's a nightmare. So just go up here, select your little rectangle select and click outside of that box anywhere. That way everything is free. Now I'm going here and add me some text. I'm going to type Blaine County. Ooh. That's way big. 26. And I'm going to change the font. That is not the font I want. Neither is that one. Ew. What if I go with... Oh, that would have been a cool one to do the sheriff in. That would have been a really cool one to do the sheriff in. Spy Agency Academy. I'm going to go down here and redo my sheriff in Spy Academy. So, text. Oh, that is not how you spell sheriff. Too big. Way too big. 72, maybe? Yeah. I'm going to move that around a bit. Play with it, just like I did last time. I want to get them lines just right. Looky there. Looky there. Okay. Control C, V. I'm going to turn it. Just like that. Boom. Alright. Uh, before I forget, I want to add this to here. So, I'm going to bring that way down. It's probably about a 24. Go a little bit bigger. And I'm going to put it right... Make sure it's on the colored part and not this black area. Make sure the whole lettering... So if you have it like that, it's going to cut your lettering off on the paint job. It'll look like trash. Like I said, this guys, this, this video is... I'm a perfectionist. It bothers me to see anything that's off-centered, anything like that. So I try to do the best I can with everything I got. With this, I'm also going to do the emergency lettering on the back in this font. I really like this font. It looks pretty cool. <clears throat> um, so emergency. I'm going to make that. A little bit too big. About a 10. That works for me. Copy that. Paste it on this side. Where did it go? What? I just freaked out for a minute. There it goes. right below that line okay now the Blaine County I will do in different lettering so 
Remember to clock out, click out of your clock out of your box. Click out of your box. <coughs> After you click out of your box, you can go select your different font. I'm gonna scroll all the way back up to the top. I'm gonna just select one. I'm gonna type Blaine County. Make it bigger so I can see it. Probably a 48. There we go. And then I'm just gonna scroll down through these until I see one I like. I feel like that'd be a pretty good look for this car. Uh, so it's copper plate gothic bold. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm just going to move it around. I'm actually going to put this here. So for this one, I'm going to line it up with this, this line right here. Just like that. And I actually might end up going back and moving that sheriff. Because it's probably going to look weird in game. Um, and if it does, it's a pretty easy fix. So for my car, I'm just going to go ahead and move the sheriff. I'm just going to make it centered on the car, uh, kind of flat. Just like that. Now, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to delete this one up here. And I'm going to paste the old one, or the bottom one, to where I can just move it up. Like <clears throat> now the 911 I'm going to do in this same text right here. I'm going to come up here, text, and I'm going to do 911. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool. Um, actually, I'll just do it like this, and I'll move it manually. Just like that. And just like that. And that right there is going to be my pretty much completed car. Now i got to go through and make all these back up to 255, which is full color. Whichever ones I changed, I don't remember. So layer 4, layer 3, and layer 2 will now be full color. I'm going to go back up to the very top layer and there's this little button right here that says merge layer down. And I'm going to click that until I have just one image. And there's my image right there. I'm going to go file, save as. I'm going to save this to my desktop as 2018 ch charger livery. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and minimize that in case there's changes. Don't ever close your paint.net out. See? Right there, I forgot. I totally forgot. So, this is 4096 by 4096. That's technically a 4K image. You want to come up here to image, resize it. Once you've, once you've made everything in one layer, resize it. Bring that down to 2048 by 2048 and hit OK. Now, save that again. Just come up here and press the save button, whatever you saved it as. So now, I've got that image right here. I can go into my open four. Come on. Yes, mods, update, 
64 DLC packs, 5 PD, uh, emergency vehicles, PD, stream, I am going to, I'm going to take this out in case I don't like the look away, the way it seems in server, I'm going to replace, uh, we've got like a Georgia Highway Patrol thing in here, I'm going to replace that, so I'm just going to hit replace, it's on my desktop, so desktop 2018 charger livery is what I saved it as. Open. And I'm going to go properties. And when you do pixel format, um, if you haven't changed it already, it's probably going to be in DTX5. For the highest fidelity in your image, you want to change it to A8R8G8B8. Okay, make sure it's that. And you want to change your mip map levels. You want them to be as high as you possibly can. Okay. Those two together are going to be... It, it'll change your fidelity and make it a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this car. I'm going to make me a new folder. Original charger. Put that in there so I don't lose it. Turn my cap lock off. So I got my Live 18 charger here. Make sure that's the right one. All right, I'm gonna close out of that. Going to the server. Not citizen. You dope. Resources. Leo cars. PD Lib two stream. And I'm gonna throw these in there. Okay. Okay. your car right there boys oh go into first person I changed the uh, oh nice the POV yeah and I color corrected the um, the running lights and the tail lights That's it guys, that's your car right there. That's how it's gonna turn out. Um, like I said, if you wanna get paint.net, I linked it down in the description below. It'll be the very top one. Um, but other than that,
wish you guys all the best in making your own cars. And that's how you make a free custom vehicle livery. Thank you guys for watching.